Welcome to Comatel Raceway, hosted by Rick's Diecast Racing. We are hosting a four-pack mayhem challenge this time. This will be a short tournament. We think it's going to be full of mayhem, 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 mayhem. These are the rules to four-pack of mayhem. Four cars per heat, four races per heat. Cars do not need to finish the race to get points. Whatever the car makes it to, the furthest picks up the points. First place gets four points, second, third, third gets two, fourth gets one. Wins or losses do not count in the car's lifetime records. We will have 32 cars from season one competing before we move on to season two called Maximum Velocity. In row one on the inside we'll have Humpty and Spanky on the outside versus Risky on the inside and Road Work on the out in row two. Well, let's see if we can keep up with the Mayhem. Boy, they are off right off the bat. Spanky out there to a fast lead. Oh, we got Mayhem all over the place. Here they come down. Spanky's going to take it. Well, let's see if we can't figure out the points here and see what happened. Keep up with this Mayhem. As you can see right there, Spanky jumps out and gets out ahead and says, I'm not going to get caught up in all this mess coming around here. Have a couple nice passes right there going on by road work and Risky. I don't know how much of a risky move that was for him, but, you know, it paid off for him, I guess, a little bit. As you got Spanky that's just going to come right on in here for the nice little win. You got road work that's going to flip over and not cross the finish line. But, Risky does get the second place. And that's how Humpty finished this heat one. After one heat, Spanky with four, Risky with three, road work with two, Humpty with one. Let's see what happens in heat two. Row 1 is Spanky on the inside versus Risky on the outside. And row 2 we have Humpty on the inside versus Road Work on the outside. Well here goes the mayhem this time. You have a nice neck and neck race coming around there. It looks like you got, whoop, well, 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 yeah. it's mayhem. Well let's check out this replay. As you got Risky and Spanky neck and neck coming to that first turn. And then Spanky goes on by himself, Risky falls off, and everybody just kind of falls off and lets Humpty take it. After two heats of mayhem, we have Risky that's in first place with six points, Spanky's in second with five, Humpty's in second with five, followed by Road Work with four. Heat number three is Risky on the inside and Road Work on the out in row one versus Spanky on the inside and Humpty on the out in row two. Okay, let's check out the mayhem here. As Roadworks out to a big lead there, Risky's right in behind him. Risky's trying to make a move right there. No, Roadworks going to pull further and further out. Let's check out the mayhem in slow mo here as Roadwork takes a slight lead coming out of that gate. Risky tries to make a move up here as they all bunch up there. Right, he tries to make a move right there, right before the figure eight. But Roadwork, being as smart as he is, he just puts the pedal down and holds on for the victory. After three heats, you can see Risky's in first place with nine points, Roadworks in second with eight, Spanky's in third with seven, followed up by Humpty. For our final race of this heat, we have Roadwork on the inside, Humpty on the out in row one, Risky on the inside versus Spanky on the outside in row two. And here we go. Roadworks out to a fast little lead right there. He's going to go. Oh, and uh, Humpty just kind of slid around there. And a good close race there for first place. Somehow we managed to have three cars actually finish the race that time. As Red Work got out in the head and decided to stay away from all the carnage that happened back there with Humpty rolling over. As you can see, Spanky is coming up there trying to really challenge him there for first place and just could not quite get around him. And here comes Risky just kind of tailing in there for that third place but picking up some points. After Heat 1, you could see Red Works our winner with 12 points, followed by Risky, Spanky, and Humpty. Let's get on to heat number two. First up, we have blue flame on the inside, old yellow on the out in row one, purple flame on the end, pulling himself on the out in row number two. And let's check out the race. Here we go. Old yellow out to a nice little bit of a lead right there. As he comes down around here through the figure eight, he's going to spin out of control. Oh no. And let's check out the replay and see what really happened here. As you've got Old Yeller out there at that lead, and Bullet himself just gets kind of flopped off the side there by Purple Flame. And down here they come, and Old Yeller flips over, Purple Flame takes second, Blue Flame actually gets first. And after one race, we got the Blue Flame in first place, followed up by Old Yeller, Purple Flame, and Bullet himself. 
Row one, old yellow on the inside, hold himself on the out. Row two, purple flame on the in and blue flame on the out. Here we go, round two, and they are off. Old Yeller out to a little bit of a lead again. And this time he's got, oh, wait a minute, nope, there's holding himself, dropping off like he did last time. Coming in second is Purple Flame. And here we go, with the replay of the mayhem. Old Yeller out to that lead right there. Is holding himself, just drops off the side there. Don't know what happened to the other one, but Purple Flame does take second. I don't know what happened to Blue Flame, but after two races, you can see the points. The Blue Flame still got a one-point lead over Old Yellow and Purple Flame. Both sitting there with five points and full of himself. Ain't very full of himself with only two points now. And our third race of Heap 2 has full of himself on the inside versus Purple Flame on the outside in row one. Old Yellow on the end, Blue Flame on the out in row two. Let's check out the mayhem. Here they go. Purple Flame out to a slight lead. Tries to cut off. Full of himself. Nope. He spun way out and blew. And full of himself. Nope. Purple Flame gets it. Let's check out the mayhem here on this replay. As Purple Flame comes down here and tries to put a block right there on Fuller himself, but Old Yeller gives Fuller himself a boost, which really spins out the Purple Flame. And somehow Purple Flame goes backwards here. Fuller himself goes upside down, and Purple Flame holds on for the victory, and it was close for the rest of the way. Let's see if we can see what order they came in here. As Fuller himself flips upside down, it looks like it's going to be Purple Flame followed by Old Yeller and then Blue Flame. Well, after three rounds now, Purple Flame with the lead with nine points, followed up by Blue Flame and Old Yeller. Our last race of the night has Purple Flame on the inside versus Blue Flame on the outside in row one. Full of himself on the inside and Old Yeller on the outside in row number two. And here we go with the final race. Purple Flame out to a slight lead. Blue Flame trying to make a move there on him. He's pumping him from behind, but he's not going to quite get him. Ooh, close for first. Let's check out this replay here. As Blue Flame is really challenging the Purple Flame all the way through there. It gets a little bump there from Old Yeller. And Old Yeller tries to make a pass, just cannot quite do it. As they come down here into the figure eight, Purple Flame starts to spin out. And there went... Old Yeller trying to make the pass, but just did not have enough, and Folding himself actually takes third. Well, our final point standings for this heat is Purple Flame takes it with 13 points, followed up by Old Yeller with 11, Blue Flame with 9, Folding himself does pick out 5 points, Purple Flame be advancing. Well, as we close it out for the night, we'll take a look, look at the moon here. We hope you all enjoyed the races tonight, and if you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, race fans. Happy racing.